Alright, so in this video we are going to solder some bullet connectors to our ESCs which will allow us to connect them with our motors. So the things we will need, we will need a soldering iron stand, a damp sponge, not a wet sponge, but a damp sponge, a soldering iron at around 400 degrees Fahrenheit should work, of course an ESC, uh, the motor box, not necessarily the motor, but the motor box has the female bullet connector ends that we will solder to our ESCs. And we will need some form of helping hands. This will let us clamp on to the bullet connectors. That way we can free up our hands to actually solder the bullet connector to the ESC. And a bit of beginner soldering iron advice. After every bit of soldering you do, you should uh, wipe off the solder from the soldering iron onto the wet sponge like this. And that will make sure that you get the solder off your tip and that will make your soldering iron live a long and wonderful life. So with that, I will see you over there where we will start soldering. All right, so let's get to soldering. So we have pulled out these three female ends of the bullet connectors from the motor box and we are going to need to solder these three ends to the three blue cables of our ESC. Now these bullet connectors are female ends like I already said and here's a quick demonstration of how they work. Here is our motor and the motor already has connected the male ends of the bullet connectors. So the female bullet connectors will pressure fit into the male end bullet connector and that makes an electrical connection. So we have two sides of the female bullet connector. One pressure fits in with the male bullet connector and the other gets soldered to the ESC. Now the end that is gonna be soldered has a little hole in it I'm not sure if you can see that, but you'll be able to see it. There's a little hole. The side with the hole on it is the side that needs to get soldered. So what we're going to do is take our helping hands, or our, our alligator clip, and clamp it in there. And let's make sure the hole is facing us. Next thing we're gonna do is take our soldering iron and place it inside the bullet connector. And then we'll take our solder with our other hand we're gonna feed it through that little hole. We're gonna put a bunch of solder in here. You're gonna think, wow, can it really hold that much? Yeah, you're gonna to wanna to fill it until that hole that we're feeding into is now completely filled with solder. Okay, and then once we get that bullet connector filled with solder, we'll let it dry and we'll wipe off the solder from our soldering iron and then once that's cool, we're gonna take one of these blue wires here, and they already have some metal exposed for us. Wasn't that nice of them? And we're going to press it into the hole. Now the solder has since become hard again, so we're gonna take our soldering iron, and this time we're going to place it in the hole that we just fed the solder through. And so with one hand, we're placing the soldering iron in the hole to warm up and liquefy the solder again. And with our other hand, we are pressing the blue wire into the hole. And you'll start to see the blue wire move into the bullet connector as the solder liquefies. And once that has happened, you can take out your soldering iron from that hole and keep holding the blue wire in place. And eventually the solder will become hard again and now you have just made a connection. Now that blue wire is stuck to that bullet connector. And be careful, this bullet connector is still gonna be hot. So, so that procedure we just did for this one bullet connector, we're gonna have to do two more times. We're gonna have to do that three times for every ESC for a total of 12 times. It could get a little monotonous, but it's a crucial part of the drone build. And when you're done, you're gonna have the three bullet connectors all soldered to the ESC. Wasn't that nice? This was like a cooking show where they put a cake in the oven, but they already made one pre-baked. I just showed you a, a pre-baked cake. Wasn't that nice of me?
All right, we'll see you in the next video.